next race here. It's the Newton Novices Hurdle at Haydock. So we've got Kingdom of Wine, Joshua Sutherland, Kingdom or Island, Joshua Sutherland, Seven Spanish Angels for Ryan Tamasevi, Du Hastley on Van Rensburg, Galanti Zara, Craig Allen is going to go off the joint favourite today, Alba Gubrath, Alex Cherry, Animator Voice, Dan Hughes, Manzo Duro, David Hooley, Nashara Blitz, you're the joint favourite for Darren Thompson, Royal Sultan, Jim Murray, Red Flag Day, Leon Van Rensburg and Zarex for Craig Beckwith is the other 9-2 joint favourite. So really tight at the head of the market here and some of the horses going off joint favourite are still maidens going into this uh, Newton Novice hurdle here at Haydock and they are off and running. And Du is going to go out into that early lead tra ta challenge up on the outside by Zarex. Uh, Kingdom of Wine on the inside uh, towards the rear of the field at the moment. We've got Manzo Duro, Alba Gabras currently the back marker as they come to the next flight of hurdles. Slightly slow jump by Royal Sultan that relegates that one towards the back of the pack for Jim Murray. So they've got six flight of hurdles here to jump, two miles to go. The rain stopped, the skies are looking brighter here at Haydock as we uh, are here for the Newton Novices Hurdle. So a few of these trying to lay down their challenge for some of the big novice races uh, at the Cheltenham Festival and some of the other festivals later in the year. Seven Spanish Angels, a winner of the Sharp Novices Hurdle at Cheltenham. And week four is currently racing quite wide, just on the inside of Galandi Zara as they start a swing left-handed in the red and blue silks. Galandi Zara in the green and gold hoops, the black horse, the one racing widest of all, and currently towards the rear of the field. And a good 25 to 30 lengths off the leader already is Animator Voice. And so Zarex blazing a trail up front. A really good run over it. Fairy House and the Royal Bond by that one last week. Uh, hence that one going off one of the favourites today as they get over that next flight. Seven Spanish Angels in midfield really attacked that flight quite well and that allowed that one to move up alongside Red Flag Day. One of two here for Leon van Rensburg. His two are racing side by side there. Du Hast and perhaps one of the more, the, the, the more fancied of the two. And we've got Kingdom of Wine and Kingdom or Island for Joshua Sutherland. Those two racing uh, side by side as well. In fact, Kingdom of Wine is probably about a length and a half in front of Kingdom of Island who's just tracking the two Leon van Rensburg runners as well as the stable mate as we have seven and a half furlongs left to go here with Zarex enjoying himself out in front and setting a pretty good pace here for these novices Nashara Blitz a couple of lengths in behind that one another of the fancied runners Royal Sultan after uh, a not so fluent jump earlier in the race has made some really good progress and is now just in behind these leaders in third place Du Haston, Kingdom or Island have started to make their move and start to get ever closer to the leaders, Kingdom of Wine Red Flag Day and Seven Spanish Angels being ridden more patiently as is Galanti Zara and those horses are really going to have to pass quite a few and fly home to pick up uh, and pick off a lot of these fancied runners as we already come towards the next flight of hurdles and only have four uh, furlongs left to go here so it's Zarex in the lead from Nashara Blitz Royal Sultan, jockey still motionless on that one. The two Joshua Sutherland runners are making some progress, as is seven Spanish Angels coming through the pack in the middles. But Zarex, if anything, has extended the advantage as we come into the final three. Kingdom of Wine, seven Spanish Angels trying to go with Red Flag Day and Du Hast after being a touch outpaced and now starting to stay on really well. But Zarex is still the one that they all have to catch over the next flight of hurdles. It's Zarex, really good leap from seven Spanish Angels means that one's closed to within a length and a half. Manzo Duro now getting going for David Hooley as well Nashara Blitz trying to stay on but as they come in the final furlong Zarex is stretching clear Nashara Blitz Royal Sultan trying to go after them Kingdom of Wine for Joshua Sutherland but nothing's able to pick up Zarex but here comes Nashara Blitz now and Nashara Blitz passes Zarex Zarex trying to battle back but as they hit the line it's Nashara Blitz that wins it for Darren Thompson Zarex so unlucky not to lose its maiden tag in this race. Set a really good pace, led throughout, looked like it was going to hold off all challenges. But Nashara Blitz just flew home in that final half of Furlong to get up for Darren Thompson, wins the Newton Novice Hurdle, Zarex in second, Royal Sultan stayed on into third for Jim Murray, seven Spanish Angels, fourth for Ryan Tamasebi, and Kingdom of Wine completes your top five for Joshua Sutherland.